Welcome back. We're back with converting my Porsche 914 to run with my bug. Um, we're gonna be looking at the flywheels because I'm very curious what the difference is between these two. Uh, this is the Porsche or the equivalent of running a bus uh, flywheel. This is a 215 millimeter. That's a 200 millimeter. This one, the options for clutches, discs, and everything is endless. You've got endless possibilities. Here, 215, you're pretty much stuck with whatever they offer for the 215, um, which are probably very little options. Uh, so, you know, getting a resurface is probably 50 bucks. Getting a disc is another 150 bucks. That's $200 right there. Over here, it's 146 bucks. And uh, like me, I already have the high performance disc with a high performance uh, pressure plate. So I, for less than 150 bucks, I got a running clutch system. Over here, I got more and then less options. And yeah, that is going to be better because you got more options and plus you don't have to do the grinding in your tunnel and I want to see if that's actually an eighth of an inch I remember I think on the last video I said a quarter of an inch I meant an eighth an eighth of an inch so let's see if the ring gears are let's see what it measures see if it measures an eighth of an inch and there you go that is about an eighth of an inch just shy hair of an eighth of an inch there we go there you go but basically they're a little different uh, this one runs a little higher you can see it's just a hair higher this one runs closer to the engine block but overall it's uh they're identical except one's rusty and the other one's chromoly these don't rust that easy it's chromoly these iron ones, yeah, they go yucca. Um, it's like I said, be very careful where you go and buy these. Fat performance is the shit. You're not going to find it cheaper anywhere. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just telling you, it's cheaper to go through there. Uh, other places, they're going to want more than $300. They're nuts. They're nuts, I'm telling you. So stick with fat performance when you're getting the converter. Uh, highly recommend man. Highly recommend because this is basically a deal breaker If three hundred dollars a lot of the guys go. Oh, no, I'm done And they just forget about it and they never do the conversion because this becomes the deal breaker right here 150 I'm all in dude. I'm all in. Okay <laughs> Okay, moving on Let's go ahead and install this flywheel on my engine I'm not going to show that because I've already shown it in a different video with installing this guy. It's the same thing. So it's boring. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. And then I'm going to take a, a quick measurement just to see where we're at. You know, when it comes to measuring the block and the face of the uh, clutch. See if it's still three inches or should be a lot less. But let's see what, what it becomes. Okay, so before I install the uh, the flywheel, I need to install my uh, pilot bearing. Ta -da! So we're gonna install the pilot bearing onto here. It should fit, as we already measured it, and it, it's measured measures exactly the same. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna bang it in there with a spark plug socket. Happens to be almost the same size as that. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, it's going in. Piece of tape. I, was, I thought I messed it up. I was like, ah! See how far that thing has gone through over here. And we're still a hair too short. So we're going to go deeper. that looks oh perfect that's where I want it I just want it I just want it to 
be like almost almost flush because the it takes the gasket the steel gasket that goes here is actually smaller than this diameter so you don't want to be too far out when you put the, the steel gasket that goes here so it's just slightly in as you can see it's just slightly below the face all right we've got that done all right so i'm gonna put my my seal that goes right here then i'm gonna throw it on all right so we got the flywheel converter on so I just want to take the measurement from here again to the face of the engine block. See if uh, I think my T1 was measuring at 2 and 5 eighths. Almost 2 and uh, 3 quarters. So slightly shy of 2 and 3 quarters. Uh, but more technically it was 2 and 5 eighths. So let me see. There we go. So we are at two and just under, actually, just a hair under two and three quarters. Uh, so, yeah, pretty close to a two and five eighths. So, it's almost identical to my T1. So, I'll have to maybe adjust my, my, what you call it, my throw out bearing. Maybe. A hair, just a couple of turns on the on the on the butterfly right there. That butterfly right there, maybe a turn or two to get it to feel right inside the cab. Okay, so yeah, it's in, it fits, it's almost identical to a T1. So here's one of the things that I I, I didn't remember. I remember having a 72, and it used this kind of uh, setting. In other words, that guy. Right here, they had a tube, and that tube slid the, the uh, throwout bearing. So I'm assuming that you're going to run into the same situation where you're going to have to somehow make the bearing slide all the way to the back on that tube that sits right here. Uh, but uh, I would, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to do that. I just wanted to say something about that because you guys are probably running like earlier. I'm sorry, later models, uh, you know, like 72, 73, whatever, and they have those tubes right there, and these don't. Okay, just wanted to make that clear. All right, yeah. Okay, so it fits. And this is where we end this video. Um, I didn't get, unfortunately, I didn't get my um, CSP stuff for the pulley and all that good stuff, so I'm not going to be able to do anything. Now, one of the things that I'm going to be running is going to be the 009 from my T1. I'm going to be moving my T1 distributor over here. Uh, T1. T1. So I'm going to use this guy. And I'll be, I'm, going to be, I'm going to be running the black box on that motor, on the uh, T4. So I already have the mapping done for this motor. So, But we're not going to use this map for, for this motor because it's, it's just completely different to what I'm running over there. Um... Uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, we'll go through the clocking of this uh, distributor, how it's locked. This is a locked distributor. Now, I removed the weights inside, and the reason is you have to remove those weights because if the screw that, 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 um, that secures the lock washer, there's a special washer that goes in there, and it locks the whole thing so it doesn't twist in advanced time when it's spinning. So anyway, if that comes loose and that, those weights are still in there, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have the black box timing plus whatever timing this will give you. And that's guaranteed to grenade your motor really quick. So always when you're locking a distributor, remove the weights and reinstall the return springs that are there. That'll keep your timing uh, at that one location, even if that... Uh, that darn screw that holds in the lock washer comes loose um it'll still the spring will still keep the timing close to where it needs to be every now and then you know open your distributor and just do this if you see it go clunk clunk uh oh it came loose but the, the spring should be able to keep it at the uh, let's just call it zero zero advance in on the mechanical advance when it comes to the 009 um you should be fine. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to grenade it, even with with the, uh, the the that screw, which is 
that screw okay that screw and right below it is a lock washer that locks the mechanical advance in there if it comes loose and you have the weights still in there uh, you, you can kiss your engine goodbye because it's gonna happen really quick um, yeah we're gonna go through that so you guys if you guys are running us if you guys are gonna want to run a CB black box which I highly recommend because it's so easy to learn uh, unlike the mega squirt which oh my god it took me like three or four months to learn oh what a headache that was so i'll never do mega squirt again cb black box yeah okay so that's pretty much the video um i didn't get my csp uh stuff so until i do we'll work on the other engine i can't do anything more other than adios muchachos